These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Oh, all right, well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here. And today I wanted to talk about the new National Youth Tobacco Survey data. I talked about this a little bit in a recent vlog, but it, I really feel like it deserves its own call out video because. Uh, it's kind of a big deal. I'm not I'm not even going to paraphrase it. I'm not even going to give you any graphs that anybody else has made. I'm just going to show you CDC's own graphic showing middle and high school youth use of e-cigarettes dropped again between 2023 and 2024 from 7.7% .7 to 5.9%. This represents a 70% decline in youth vaping since its peak in 2019. And even at its peak in 2019, it was only around 20% of any past day use. I kind of roll my eyes and say peak with air quotes there because back in my day in the 90s, in 1995, when I was graduating high school, the same metric that they apply to vaping, they also apply to smoking and the smoking rate in 1995 was over 30%. And in the next few years after that, it went up almost to 40%. In the year 2000, the teen smoking rate was double what the youth vaping rate is right now. Context. This isn't even touching on regular use or daily use. This is all any 30 day past use. Even once in the last 30 days is considered current use to CDC. A little over 94% of all youth don't vape, don't smoke, have never vaped, have never smoked. I don't even know if I have a word for it, but watching CDC's own data contradict CDC's own narrative about youth use of e-cigarettes is what word, what word do I need to use? Mind blowing. Mind blowing? This new data means that essentially anybody who has ever called youth vaping uh, an epidemic or said that it was going to addict a whole new generation of youth to nicotine or that nicotine itself was crazy, highly addictive or that this vaping was a gateway to smoking. New research says the gateway to smoking may be in this e-cigarette trend. I mean, all of that completely wrong, completely false, proven by this new data. And at this point, vaping isn't even a gateway to vaping. To so many people, so many people are wrong. And what's kind of worse than that to me is think about how many laws got passed, how many flavor bans were enacted, how many taxes were enacted based on the idea that these measures were protecting children and that youth use was skyrocketing. The skyrocketing number of teenagers using e-cigarettes has stunned even the experts. And that a whole new generation was being addicted to nicotine. This is a whole new group that's getting themselves addicted to nicotine. Literally all of that just got proven wrong. I will say one thing we don't have yet from CDC is any numbers or data around youth smoking numbers. In the background of all of this youth vaping hysteria, youth smoking numbers have been slowly and steadily and then not so slowly dropping in the background behind the scenes. I'm guessing this is the year finally that both middle and high school cigarette use goes under a percent. Does the Moral panic around youth vaping feel justified for a 70% drop in youth vaping? Nicotine is so highly addictive that between 2023 and 2024, youth vaping dropped yet again. So crazy addictive. I'd like to think I had a part in that youth vaping drop. I'm, I'm out here every day, day after day, trying to make vaping look as uncool as possible. And I think it's helping. I think it's helping. Anyway, I, th I think that's what I got for today, everybody. I'm gonna put some links in the description to the CDC's weekly morbidity and mortality weekly report where they just discuss the new youth vaping numbers. They're a little concerned about pouch use now too. It's reached 1.8% among youth. That's any 30 day use, mind you. That's not daily use. You think you're gonna get daily use numbers from CDC? What are you, out of your mind? If you smoke cigarettes, 
You should definitely switch, though. I believe in you, and literally all of the science says you should. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to Just Science, Just Education, and the CDC data. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke-free despite our government's best efforts to stop us literally every single day. <laughs> it's like 10.30, and I'm uh, going to smoke, so... <laughs>